In today's video, I'll be revealing the top 20 things I wish I knew when I first entered into this exciting and transformative decade. Whether you are just starting your 20s or already in the midst of it, this video is a must watch for anyone seeking guidance, inspiration, and a head start in navigating adulthood. Get ready to gain some wisdom, avoid common pitfalls, and make the most out of this incredible chapter of your life. Now before we dive into the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, now some of of these are gonna be super obvious but I'm gonna go ahead and say them anyways number one don't drink and drive you're risking your own life and someone else's life it's pretty obvious that there's never a good reason to drink and drive and anytime I have personally decided to drink and drive because I think I'm okay or whatever it never ends up being okay something always happens thank goodness I have never hurt another individual or myself I would rather pay $50 on an uber than thousands and thousands of dollars in DUI fines or even killing someone or myself so don't drink and drive Number two, only engage in things that bring you peace and happiness. This world is not the best most of the time and a lot of people can be super crappy. I think it's really important to do little things or big things that make you happy and bring you peace. Cut off anyone who doesn't match your energy. I cannot stress this one enough. Within the last few years, I have really implemented this. You will find out there's a lot of people that keep you in your life because it benefits them. They don't provide any value to your life. For instance, there were certain people I kept in my life that they would always invite me to their birthday party or to their child's birthday party and I'm the kind of person that would consistently show up. Whenever I had something going on, they never showed up for me. They always had an excuse. It never failed. One day I woke up and I was like, I'm done. I'm cutting this person off. I don't know what else I can really do to make them understand that I am valuable to their life and I will always be there for them, but they will never do that for me in return. I'm going to give them that energy back, completely cut them off, and I'm not going to explain myself either. I highly recommend you do the same thing if you have people in your life that are not providing that same value, then just be done with them. Number four, never stop learning. Every bad decision, every wrong turn, every good turn that you've made and learned from it and keep learning from it and try not to keep making the same mistakes or bad decisions twice you can learn from other people too you can see things that they're doing that isn't working for them and you can learn yourself what you know you don't want to do or maybe what you do want to do so that way you can have the same outcomes that they're having so just always keep your mind in a learning phase number five love like you'll never get hurt again this is something that I also had just recently started implementing into my life it's super easy to feel super down and out when and especially if you're going through a breakup, you're wondering how the heck am I ever gonna love like this again? I mean, I gave so much of myself to that person. You don't want to get your heart broken again. It's really important to not make that person pay for someone else's mistakes and you should love them as if you were never hurt before. Just like the last lesson, we need to learn from that. We need to learn what worked and what didn't. And so that way, when you go into something new, you can take that knowledge and that wisdom with you into it and hopefully it will work out for the best. Number six, your life is yours to do what you want with it. Do whatever your heart and your mind is telling you you want to do. If you want to sing, try singing. If you want to start a YouTube channel, just do it. If your parents, for instance, they really want you to be a doctor, but you don't want to be a doctor, then do not be a doctor. Do not let someone navigate your life for you because all it will do is make you end up regretting it and maybe even hating that person. Number seven, sacrificing your own happiness never works out. If there is something that is clearly not bringing you any happiness, there's no sense in continuing to do that same thing. Just remove yourself from the equation. Do not put yourself in situations to please someone else if it's not also pleasing you. Going to a party that you really don't want to go to, if you know it's not going to make you happy to go, then don't go. Only do things that make you happy and stop worrying about other people's happiness. Number eight, this is the biggest one. No one is coming to save you. That is going to be the best piece of advice you'll probably ever hear. And so that means you need to figure everything out for yourself. You need to learn from your mistakes because no one is going to save you. Someone may be there to bail you out of jail, but who knows for how long that's gonna happen. Always keep that mindset that no one is going to save me. So if I do this, who is gonna save me? Only myself. Number nine, honesty and integrity are valuable asset. 
assets. Not everyone comes equipped with these assets and it's really important to understand that as long as you are honest and have integrity throughout life, you will end up having such a better life than most people because these things are so hard to find, especially both of them at the same time. You need to keep these with you at all times and always remember that it's always going to be better to have integrity and to be honest, be truthful in every single situation. Number 10, sometimes life is uncomfortable and that's okay. The best thing you can do in these situations is learn, observe, and grow and apply everything that you have learned moving forward. It will also help you to understand situations that you are willing to put yourself in and situations that you are not. Number 11, revenge is never the answer. I have a friend and her name is Karma. She usually takes care of things on her own so I love her and I will rock with her until the end of time. Anytime someone has done some wrong to me or I have done wrong to someone else, it will always come back to get you. Keep that in mind before you do anything bad. Also, if someone has done some wrong to you, just know karma is going to do her job and she is going to do it well. Number 12, remember that your glass is half full, not half empty. I personally like to ask people just out of nowhere. The reason why is because that's a negative thinking. Either their response is going to be positive or it's going to be negative. And I like to see what kind of person they are just by such a simple question. Is your glass half full or is your glass half empty? Number 13, you need to learn those basic cooking skills as early as you possibly can. Basic cooking skills are a necessity. I can't tell you how many times I have met someone who can't even cook a basic meal. A piece of chicken with vegetables and rice. I mean, that's as basic as it gets and if you literally cannot even make that. What are you doing? Number 14, you need to learn how to be happy alone. I grew up as an only child, so I am very familiar with being happy alone. I always enjoy my friend's company and I enjoy being in relationships. However, it's so important to learn to be happy alone, never depending on someone else to bring you happiness. Because if things end, you need to be able to fall back into your own arms. Number 15, take, take that, that solo, solo trip. trip. I did quite a bit of traveling in my mid 20s and I wish I would have done it actually when I was earlier on in my 20s. I wouldn't change a single thing except the fact that I wish I would have done it a lot sooner. I traveled a lot of places alone and I would love to share those experiences with you guys. Highly, highly recommend that you take that solo trip at least once. You would be surprised too at how much fun you can actually have on a solo trip just by yourself. Number 16, love yourself. It starts and ends with only you. We are brought into this world by ourselves, and we all leave this world alone too. Remembering to love yourself through everything, through every bad decision, every wrong turn. Give yourself grace and just remember to love yourself and also be very patient with yourself as well. So you need to just remember that you're not going to be perfect and no one is and that's something that's going to bring you really far if you can love yourself through all of life's ups and downs. Number 17, you don't have to be married with children in your 20s and I'm sorry for anyone who told you that. I am 31 now. People think that you need to be married with children by a certain age. I think you should take things at your own pace. Nothing good ever comes from rushing any situation, especially something as big as getting married and having children. You will know when it's the right time and I would love to have children one day, but I still think that I'm going at my own pace and there's nothing wrong with that. Number 18, closed mouth don't get fed. Honestly, let's be real. Even if it's a matter of your order came out wrong, if you don't say anything, how is anyone ever gonna know? Remember that if you want something in life, you have to speak it into the universe or if there's something that you want from someone, tell them because nine times out of 10, no one is ever gonna know what's on your mind unless you open that mouth and tell them. Number 19, time flies. So make sure that you are doing things that you truly love and want to invest your time in because my 20s flew on by and so much happened also. Now that I'm in my 30s, things are slowing down a lot. At the same time, every time I turn a year older, I'm reminded that, gosh, time flies. Whether you're having a good time or not, it's going to keep on moving and it's never going to stop for anyone. Really enjoy your youth while you can. Really enjoy the ones that you love and that love you while you can because nothing lasts forever and we sure in the hell don't either. Last but not least, number 20, just keep your head up. Just remember that life is one big lesson and there's gonna be a lot of small lessons in between, but the biggest lesson is that you just have to keep your head up and keep going and you will in return love yourself so much more for being strong, resilient, and always knowing that you need to keep your head up. And there you have it. Those are the 20 things I wish I knew entering my 20s. I hope this video provided you with valuable insights and guidance 
as you navigate through this exciting chapter of your life. Remember, you are not alone in this journey and now you can feel confident conquering your 20s with confidence and wisdom. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who could also benefit from these lessons too. And as always, I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.